You see the number right there, 112 million. That's how many people follow Taylor Swift on Instagram, where she just made her first ever political endorsement. The millennial icon backing two Democratic candidates in Tennessee, where Taylor's registered to vote. She backs Jim Cooper for Congress and Phil Bredesen for Senate. She also took a swipe at the Republican congresswoman running against Bredesen. Quote, as much as I have in the past and would like to continue voting for women in office, I cannot support Marsha Blackburn, Taylor Swift wrote. Her voting record in Congress appalls and terrifies me. Here's the question. Can the previously apolitical political celebrity motivate younger voters? In the last midterms, look at these numbers. The younger generations, voters age 18 to 53, became the majority of eligible voters. But look at the numbers. We're still significantly outvoted by the 54 and older crowd. A new ad aimed at Democrats hoping to motivate, especially millennials, and change that. Maybe you could go to one of those little marches. You might even share this video on Facebook. But you won't vote. You young people never do. We'll be there, but you won't. Because we're a generation of doers. Not whiners. Who was it fighting to take the lead on this Taylor Swift? <laughs> Was it you, Phil? Was pretty that you? Sure, I'm pretty sure Bade has been revving up for this. You know, for let's the part of the last. Let's, you know, we're, we're making light, but number one, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, far left, far right, all hands on deck is great. Everybody should vote. Everybody should vote. Everybody should care. Everybody should try to be active. Uh, there are those who think sometimes these celebrity endorsements backfire. Well, I, I mean, I think they can backfire, and already we see the, the Re Republican Senatorial Committee, uh, you know, uh, coming out against the fact that she did this. You know, she came down from her ivory tower and told people to vote for Phil Bredesen, so they're ridiculing it, and they're certainly hoping that Republicans will come out to sort of counterbalance this. I don't think any of us, or at least I'm not under the illusion that a celebrity endorsement, even a giant celebrity like Taylor Swift, is going to make or break Phil Bredesen's chances or, or Mar Marsha Blackburn's chances in this race. I do think, though, that Democrats know that if they want to have the impact that they need to have in this election, they need to get younger voters out to the polls. Um, we saw Barack Obama make a huge push on that when he was president, and it made a huge difference uh, for his reelection um, when younger voters did not show up as much. It made a really it, it made a difference for Democrats who were not able to get over the line. Um, they are going to need as much help as they can get motivating younger voters uh, throughout the country, including in places like Tennessee, to, co to come out. And this could have a marginal effect on this. Well, words, words I never thought I would speak on television. In defense of Taylor Swift, <laughs> as the Republicans attack her, her statement is actually a lot more balanced than that. She explains her views and her vote, and she encourages everybody, especially young people, do your homework, do your research, and vote period vote. So it's, it's not as partisan, even though it, she makes her own partisan views clear. I'm sorry. Oh, no. She's, she's trying to turn out young voters, but too bad. Most of her followers are probably, you know, 12 years old and can't vote. Look, I do think there was something interesting in what she put online, and that was her targeting of Marsha Blackburn, a female Republican uh, who's very conservative, again, speaks to the fact that right now, even though there are record numbers of Democratic women running, again, the movement, the momentum is for Democrats. When it comes to Republicans, they're in really awkward situations because they don't back uh, things like equal pay. That's something that Taylor Swift specifically mentioned. Um, and again, it's just an awkward environment to be a Republican woman right now. And again, you're seeing a, 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 a young female uh, leader come out against a Republican woman. Uh, you're just the